What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. I have decided to switch up my training and take a more hypertrophy approach for the next several months. Goal is to get to the lowest body fat percentage that I've ever been to. Uh, and then I'm gonna actually put on size steadily. But wanted to do this transformation kind of during this odd quarantine uh, period, get my nutrition down and my training as well. So I've been working with Mike Isertel and RP Strength. They're helping me out with my programming, uh, my nutrition, my training, as well as Dave Smith, who's a friend of mine, uh, competitive bodybuilder. And with them, I have a solid team to get me to where I want to be. So today I'm going to take you through my back uh, and trap training. So primarily just a back day and kind of give you guys some pointers, some tips and thoughts as I go through this workout. So enjoy it and hopefully give it a shot and a try. I put my entire workout split on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, check it out. It's that strength on Instagram. And it gives you the layout for the entire week. And I'll be going through each of those workouts on video, diving deeper into them. So let's go. friends so first movement on tap for back today was going to be barbell row but we're going to row all the way up to our chest and touch our chest every single time now the biggest thing with this movement and exercise and actually all the exercises that i've been doing during this hypertrophy phase uh, or mesocycle has been full range of motion with everything that we do and no body english so this has been a big difference for me and very eye-opening uh, because we're really just trying to target the muscle itself uh, and get as much stress to that muscle as possible. So when doing these, we really wanna make sure that we keep our chest, uh, I would say as proud as possible by kind of opening up your chest as much as possible and limiting any body English. So the hips shouldn't be moving. Uh, this is something that I struggled with early on. I still have a little bit of issue with it, but I'm getting a lot better since when I started. And we wanna make sure that we row all the way up using our lats to touch our chest. Now we're gonna do that till about technical failure. So uh, from there, we're going to do a super set of regular bent over barbell uh, rows to about our belly button. So you're not gonna be able to get anywhere near as much because uh, you're gonna be pretty smoked from that uh, working set of getting the bar to your chest every single time. But it's just a way that we can get a little bit more stress uh, to the target muscle. So with this exercise, I did three sets and I'm trying to beat last week in terms of volume. So the weight stayed the same, but I'm trying to get increased volume. Uh, so I got about 18 and then that was a couple more than last week. And then I got a little bit more on my bent over rows as well for every set. So that's just a basic um, principle of progressive overload. And we'll do that until, you know, I'm no longer uh, getting the proper stimulus or the fatigue is too high. And then we're gonna take a deload or a low stress week and then get back after. All right, next exercise on tap is gonna be the lat pull down. By far, one of my favorite back exercises, personally, just cause it feels good, I like it, and I've noticed I get good growth in uh, my back and lats from this exercise. Now, for this, I was doing three working sets, and I was trying to be anywhere uh, from that 10 to 15 rep range, uh, trying to either match or beat last week's reps that I got this exercise. Uh, I noticed my back felt a little bit more fatigued today, so I actually did really well in the rows, uh, but on the lat pull down, I basically got the same amount as last week. Not really a big issue, because uh, it's still a good training session, but you know the goal is to progress or meet last week uh, in terms of volume. So a couple of points of performance for this is we wanna make sure that we're touching our chest with the bar every single time we pull it down. Now, I struggled with this in the beginning, and the more I did it, the better my range of motion got, and I think you'll find the same uh, when you guys do this, if you can't touch your chest, bigger guys, more muscle, it's just gonna be harder. So we're gonna have to do it more to get that full uh, range of motion and mobility just because of the muscle mass that we have. But if you are struggling, uh, before I couldn't touch my chest, what I would do is just try to get it below my chin. So that was just establishing a good reference point to make sure that I'm getting the same range of motion on every single rep and that the consistency is there. So if you can't touch your chest, try to get it below your chin or wherever you have a point of reference to make sure that every rep is the same. Now in terms of grip, I want you guys to play with your grip a little bit, see what feels the best. I actually used to do these with a very wide grip, but I noticed that I felt it more in my lats the closer I brought my grip just a little bit, uh, and I just 
you know, overall felt better about it. So play with your grip, start wide, see how that feels, and then go a little bit closer and see if you feel it in your lats more, your back more, or maybe uh, weaker areas of your back that you haven't used. Try it out and experiment with it. Another thing I really like to incorporate with this as well is straps, just because we're trying to focus on the lats and the back and not be limited by our grip strength. One of the biggest mistakes that I used to make is I would use tons of body English when trying to get the bar down to my chest using tons of momentum and almost rocking back and forth. Now, uh, one of the, the newer things that I've one of the biggest mistakes that I used to make when doing the lat pull down was using tons of momentum where I'd come up and I'd rock all the way back and pull the bar to my chest every single time. Now, the issue with that is that we're now using other muscles to pull the bar to our chest uh, instead of our lats. So we wanna make sure that we can just target the lats solely to get as much growth and stress to them as possible. So keep it as strict as you can without using any momentum or body English. All right, next movement is gonna be the barbell shrug. The main muscle we're working here is the traps. And for myself personally, the traps have been a muscle that I've really struggled with in terms of growing and getting bigger for whatever the reason is. I didn't train them when I was young and they just haven't responded very well to the training that I do. You would think with strongman, I'd have these huge massive traps, but that's just not the case. So for me, it's been a weak point. Now, something that I have noticed that made a big difference in uh, uh, feeling my traps in the shrug has been playing with my grip width. I noticed that the wider that my hands were, the less I felt it in my traps, and the more narrow I got my grip, the, the more I could feel it in my traps. So play around with your grip like I've mentioned in other exercises, but just bringing my hands almost to exactly where my quads are uh, has made a big difference in feeling it way more in my traps, and I feel like they have been growing a little bit throughout this mesocycle, just simply on that. Now, the next thing that's really helped me is getting full range of motion with a shrug. Uh, I see most guys, and I did this before working with Dr. Mike, we just start with the barbell right at our hips and we shrug right up. But what Mike has taught me is to lengthen the trap as much as possible by almost letting your arms hang and then pulling all the way up getting a little pause at the top. So you'll see in this video, I kind of let my arms hang a little bit. That's to just stretch out the tricep, get that full range of motion, and uh, get as much amplitude at the top of the shrug. So anywhere from 20 to 30 reps, we're doing about four sets here, four good working sets, and you should definitely be feeling this, but play around with that grip, play around with uh, full range of motion, using the trap as much as possible, and I think you're gonna love them. All right, last exercise is right after we're done the shrugs, we're gonna go to some barbell wrist curls. I use 115 for these, and basically we're just trying to blow up the forearms, grip strength, it's really good for uh, just everything in general. If you're doing your strongman lifts, if you're doing power lifting, uh, jiu jitsu, right? I kind of fall in line with all of those. Very big fan of grip strength. So what I like doing for these is using a false grip. So my thumb is gonna be wrapped uh, over top with my fingers and not around the bar. Uh, and I'm gonna let it hang all the way down to my fingertips and then I'm going to roll it all the way up and try to get a slight pause at the top. So once again, full range of motion, open your hand up as much as you can and then uh, curl in the wrist and get a nice squeeze uh, at the top. Did four sets here, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Uh, sometimes at the end, I'll actually wrap my thumb back around with a normal grip and I'll try to squeeze out anywhere from three to four extra reps with my thumb back around the bar. Uh, but you definitely will feel a gnarly forearm pump from these. And uh, just from everything else that you did during this session, your forearms are gonna be nice and jacked. So there you guys have it. That is day one of back. I have another back day later in the week with a couple things that are swapped around. Uh, but I'm just excited to go through this journey, right? I haven't done hypertrophy training like this, like a bodybuilder uh, since I first started lifting and I had no idea what I was doing. So I'm in good hands. I'm learning from some of the best guys in the industry uh, with, uh, we got Coach Mike, we got Charlie, we have uh, Coach Dave, who's a friend in, uh, of mine, who's a professional bodybuilder and a jiu-jitsu brown belt, almost black belt, who's a monster. And I'm sure you guys will see him on the channel at some point. Uh, but these guys know what they're talking about. So I'm just trying to be a sponge and absorb it as much as possible and share that with you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying it. If you did, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. 
uh, comment down below with what you thought of the video or maybe uh, some exercise that you really love doing for your back. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Uh, during these times, your support means everything to me. It keeps me going, it keeps me making these videos. I'm not gonna lie, things have been tough, okay? They've been tough for everybody. Um, but to have you guys tune into these videos, you know, maybe have some extra time to watch them really motivates me to get in here and produce good high quality content for you guys. Uh, and I'm gonna be putting out this entire program for you guys uh, to try. I'm gonna have Dr. Mike on here and we're gonna run through a lot of principles and tips on how you can apply it to you guys. So it's gonna be a really good series. I'm excited about it and hopefully you guys are too. So stay a lean mean strike machine, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course stay strong. Peace.